Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be learning about Troy University's soccer program and we'll meet the new head coach of the soccer program, Jason Hamilton. Jason, thanks for joining me here today. Thanks for having me here. And uh, as I mentioned, you're the new coach <laughs> uh, of the Troy soccer program. Uh, obviously an opportunity to, to get to know you here today. And for the folks at home who uh, don't know a little about your background, tell us about uh, how you got here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I arrived here in, uh, in late January. So I've been here for about six, seven months. Um, getting situated with the team and everything. I came from the University of Florida where I was uh, with them last year in the 2013 season. Uh, we had a really good year, uh, SEC champions for the regular season and a top five program. Um, great opportunity for me to work with some of the best coaches in the country uh, and, and some very talented players in a, in a very strong conference. Uh, prior to that, I was with the uh, Boston Breakers in the, uh, the National Women's Soccer League, which was the new professional league that started up last okay. year. Uh, so I spent the the, the first season up there, which was a great experience to work with some of the best players, not only in, in the country, but in the world uh, at the highest level. And uh, prior to that, I was at the University of Miami for, for two seasons. Um, and again, we had some pretty good success there. So just kind of uh, working my way from the south uh, to the north in the college game here. <laughs> and now you're here in Troy, Alabama. Mm -hmm. So obviously uh, you, you've been to some some big locations, uh, you know, uh, Miami and other such places. And now you're in a slightly smaller town of, of Troy. So are you getting used to the, to the transition there of Troy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the people here are great. And everybody I talk to, um, you know, always brings up, well, how's it, you know, living in a smaller a smaller place? And, you know, the, the people are what make it and the people are, are awesome here. So just everybody I've met, you know, that have to, you know, part of the university and that aren't part of the university that are here in Troy are, are really what's kind of sold me on it. And of course, let's talk about the program and your expectations. Obviously, a new coach coming into a program. Uh, what are some of your expectations for, for the program under your control? Yeah, I mean, there's obviously, you know, when there's a coaching change, you usually see a, you know, a little bit of a, a transition period um, as far as, you know, learning new concepts and how that coach wants to do things and, you know, a culture change of sorts. Um, you know, but I still have pretty good expectations for us here this first year. I mean, there's a, it's a good group of players here. They're, they're committed, they want to work hard, uh, and they want to they want to get better. So that's been the, the most enjoyable part of it. Um, you know, but it's, again, it, it's learning how to play almost completely different than for some of them who have been here for three years. And, um, you know, so we're, we've had our, you know, our, I guess our bumps in the road trying to learn, but I mean, they're all bought in and they all want to, you know, do what we're trying to do. And I think they see, you know, the success that we can have when we try and do things the new way. And of course, uh, speaking of new ways and new things, uh, one of the, the new things that fans may not realize is that uh, you, as soon as you get here, you get a facility upgrade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've got some uh, lights for the soccer field, which we have not seen in the history of, of Troy sports here. So I, I've got to say that there's got to be some benefits there, especially getting more people to the oh, games. Uh, absolutely. I mean, our, we're going to move our weeknight games to 7 p.m. So our Friday night games will you know, be at 7 p.m., allow people to get home after work, get the family fed, get out to the game, um, you know, and then the student body wrap up their classes and, and come out there and enjoy the game. Uh, you know, it's, to me, it's a, it's a, it's a huge advantage for us um, on the field as well. Playing at three o'clock in the 90 degree weather um, was tough for the team. So now being able to play games on, you know, seven o'clock on a Friday night's gonna, gonna help our bodies uh, for Sunday's game. But, you know, the biggest part of it is, is getting the community out here and getting them involved um, you know, was something that they didn't have an opportunity to do before when the games were during the day. Building up that fan base. Yeah, so, absolutely. And uh, obviously uh, the first chance for them to, to see uh, at home will be uh, against uh, Alabama State, yep. correct? And, yep. and when will that be? Alabama State, that is uh, Tuesday, August 26th at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. The lights won't be ready until September 1st, so we pushed, uh, pushed the game back as late as we could and, and we'll use as much daylight that's there. Um, but hopefully we can still get people to, to get out there and, and see that first home game. And the, But of course, uh, the first game, uh, coming up pretty quick here, and uh, you get to start off against an SEC opponent uh, level of competition you're familiar with yeah. at this point. So, yeah, LSU this Friday uh, at LSU at 7 p.m. It's it'll be a, a tough challenge for us. They have, uh, you know, a good team. Brian's done a good job there with them, and they've got some very young, talented players that you know have a little bit of a little bit of experience from last year that they're going to build off of. Um, they have four players just returning from the the U20 World Cup. Uh, two competing for Canada and two for New Zealand. So they're going to be, you know, pretty fit and ready to go. And um, it should be a good game. And, you know, we're excited to put ourselves against the best competition we can and, and help prepare for down the road. And hit the ground running against, yeah. against some top-level competition. Absolutely. So. Uh, and, of course, uh, then you're, you finish off the road trip. You're in Louisiana. You're against uh, La Tech, yep, correct? Yeah, so. we, we finished that uh, weekend with La Tech. Quick turnaround, play Alabama State on Tuesday, and then 
another quick turnaround. We play uh, Kennesaw State on Friday at home, and then we'll play Tennessee Tech that Sunday at home. So about a 10-day span, we're going to cram five games in there, which is pretty uncommon uh, for our sport. But you know, we think that we're we're fit and we're ready to go, and we'll get some good results. Of course, a there. good good short Louisiana trip, and then a span of home games. Yeah, though, absolutely. So that'll help out. Yeah, so. get get back home and get in their own beds and get them some rest. And then uh, hopefully look forward to some of those night games coming up here in the future. Absolutely. So, all right, well, I would like to thank you for joining us today and uh, good luck with the season. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on this edition of Trojan Talk.